Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here. Got Stacy with me. Hello. Got a few other special guests with me as well. Got Journey and Chris. Hi. Hello. Talking about when the day starts. Now, this is going to be a series. I'll probably label it something like One of Infinity because I expect this series to go on for a long time. Talking about when the day starts. Now, what I expect to come out of this video is comments. Those who believe differently or those who have an opinion on when the day is to start, whether it starts in the morning time or whether it starts in the evening time or whether you believe it starts at some other random time in, in, on the clock, please give your comments below because we will do another video to follow up on those questions. If you have a verse that you believe backs up your argument, list it below. And then we'll come in and we'll actually address those comments in a future video. So in this one, we want to start off in the very first part of our King James Bible, talking about when the day starts. But before we get into the verses, we just want to have a little bit of discussion. That's why I brought these honored guests in with me to have a little bit of discussion on when you think the day starts. I personally believe the day starts at sunset. I thought the day started at 1 o'clock in the morning. Like 1 a.m.? Yeah. Why? why? Um, because that's 12 p.m. is when the day ends and then... Um, so you started in the, in the zero hour. So, so I see what you're saying because the clock changes over from one day to the next at 12 a.m. That's when you believe that the day starts is at 12 a.m. Okay, I, I understand. Well, I guess other cultures they would say that it would start at sundown, but that would be pain. I guess homage to the sun. It would be saying the sun begins our day, but no. That the day that the day is centered around the sun. Yeah. That the day changes with the sun. Right. Mm. Well, I believe as well um, as you that the um, day starts at sundown, uh, and that's only because Scripture states that the evening and the morning were the first day. Now, if I didn't have that scripture to um, to relate that to, I would definitely believe that it started in the morning time. At sunrise. At sunrise. Why? And the reason, so the reason that I would say that it started in the morning, at sunrise rather, is because... Um, when you wake up, when you go to sleep at night, that seems to have ended something. And when you wake up, that seems to begin something new. So by saying that the day starts in the evening, it's hard to um, like comprehend that. It's hard to understand how the day ends, how the day begins at evening but you're getting ready to go to sleep and close that day and then you go and say the day ends at um, the day begins at evening and it ends at what sun sunrise no it ends the next evening it ends the next evening so yeah going to sleep I think is what got people uh, confused because when you go to sleep, you close your eyes, you're resting. That's now the you end. seem to it That's seems the end like of the you're day. ending that day. Yeah. And then the day begins again at sunrise. Right. Well, and I believe that there's a lot of people that have that opinion. Because uh, but the problem with that is okay, well what are you doing with those twelve hours where you're asleep? It's like those hours are not a part of, of the day anymore. They're not counted. It's like so if if what they believe is true, if you end the day at sunset if the day just ended 
and then it starts again at sunrise, that's 12 hours that are missing from the day. Yes. Okay. I don't think people think about, you know, that. I think people just think that it's dark. There's nothing to do. My day has ended. Yeah. And, you know, I believe that's why a lot of people have trouble understanding that the day starts or the day ends at, at sunset is because they have other things to do after sunset. You know, when the sun goes down, it's not a big deal for most of us because we have televisions or we have lights in our house. We can turn the light on and we can continue to do stuff. We can cook. We can eat. We can read, we can play games, we can do a lot of stuff in our house because we have a light on in the house. So you're saying that by the sun going down, that's just a continuation of the day. It's not nothing, uh, nothing has changed, it's just I'm continuing this day out. For, for the most of humanity, yeah. Right, yeah. For, for most of the people in the world today in 2020, yeah, that's it's just dark outside you bring the party inside now we've been outside doing stuff all day and now it's too dark out there to do anything outside so we're just going to come in and we're going to find stuff to do inside and we're going to do stuff inside until you know we get exhausted exhausted yeah 10 11 some people go to bed at 12 1 o'clock in the morning and they're up their day extends until that time of the morning but i believe that if we did not have these technologies if if it was like the 1800s where we didn't have a light switch to switch on or a television to play or a radio or soccer games to go to or after school this and after school that to go to after the sun went down we would have nothing else better to do after the sun went down but to go to bed the day would be over it would stop right then well I think that's great because it's um it shows how the father um by the by the day beginning at evening it seems as if the father is letting us start our day with resting rejuvenating our body and then we go out and work instead of working and then resting it seems as if maybe that he's letting us start our day with rejuvenation, resting your body, resting your mind, and then you go out and do the work uh, before, beforehand. Before you know, that day it. ends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. That makes, that, that makes sense. But I, the, one of the reasons why I brought you guys in is what, what about the Sabbath day? Another reason why I believe that people don't understand that the day starts and begins in the evening time when this, with, with sunset is because of the Sabbath day. I believe if more people kept the Sabbath day correctly, they it would be no doubt that the sun, that the day started with sunset. How? Why do you say that? I don't understand. Well, just think about some of the rules associated with the Sabbath day. You can't cook. Mm -hmm. So if your day started in the morning time, the Sabbath day would start in the morning time. Right? Yeah. And you have to do all of your cooking beforehand. You have a full day to do this. If well, if the day starts at the sun at the, in the sun and sunrise, you wouldn't have a full day to start it. You would have had to have mm. cooked the day before. Right. Okay. You would have had to have all of your meals prepared before you went to sleep the night before, or you would have had to wake up in the wee hours of the morning and cook enough meals to last till the next morning. Because you can't cook in that 24-hour period. Right. Mm -hmm. But with the, with the day changing at sunset, now you can spend that full time. the full day of the sixth day. The day we call it Sabbath day prep. You can spend the full day cooking, cleaning, preparing, getting everything ready to go. So that when the sun went down in the evening time and the Sabbath day started, you 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 would actually be in that new day you could actually have your first sabbath day meal that evening and you would have you you would have an, um either leftovers or the meal already prepared for the following morning to to um to finish eating 
So it's more convenient. It's definitely more convenient when you think about eating. And then when you think about the manna in the wilderness, if the day started in the morning time, they would have had to been up all night gathering manna in order to have for that whole day in order to last. And then if you think about what if they forgotten to get enough manna or what if they didn't get enough manna. Now, since they can't cook, they have to starve all night, all day. They can't cook. Like, huh? And starving all day is against the rules. You cannot fast on the Sabbath day. Just think about, just think about this. What, what if you, okay, today, if on day six, you were getting ready for the Sabbath day to begin on day seven, but the day started in the morning time. You prepare your meal for day seven to start for the Sabbath day. But in the evening time of day six, we ate all the food up. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go into day seven, which would have, you know, would have started in the morning time. And you're going to be hungry with no way to get any food. You had to have, you had to, on day six, you would have had to have cooked enough meals for day six and for day seven. And you think about it, and you think about it too, because the day started in the morning time, you, you, you don't have the opportunity, not only doing the light part to cook any food, but then once the sun went down, you still wouldn't have any opportunity to cook because the Sabbath day is still going on until the next morning. Right. So you've, you've essentially been, could you could have possibly been without food for a day and a half. Mm -hmm. 24, what, 32 hours. 32 hours without food. That makes sense to anybody? Yeah. Yeah, I understand what's the mm -hmm. 30, 32 hours without food. Because if the day would start in the morning time, you could be 32 hours without food. And then you think about fires. That's what I was thinking about, yeah. Gathering wood, yeah. All of it, all of it, please. It fires the same way you you would either have to be up in the wee hours of the morning gathering wood and making fires before the sun went up because you can't make fires on the Sabbath day if the, if the day started at sunrise you would have to make your fire before the sun came up but this is supposed to be a day of rest but now you having to get up earlier and make fires. But with the day starting in the evening time, and y'all help me out, but with the day starting in the evening time, you can have your fire started, wood collected, while everybody is awake. Everybody is awake at sunset. Just about nobody, when the sun goes down around the whole world, nobody is asleep. Everybody is awake. Right? right. I mean, not everybody is awake at sunrise. Like this morning, I was asleep when the sun rose this morning. When I opened my eyes this morning, I was looking and there was sun outside already. So at sunrise, I was asleep. But 99% of the time, unless I'm not feeling well, I'm going to be awake at sunrise. I mean, awake at sunset. Right, and then there's... You have people that are now awake at sunset to watch and make sure that this fire lasts through the night instead of um, having to get up early, early in the morning. And now you're tired from starting getting wood and starting fire in the early morning before the sun came up. Yeah, so it's kind of getting in the way of your rest period. But with the sun, with the day starting at sunset, you can ensure that your fire is going at sunset, and like you say, you can keep the fire going all night long. Waking up, you know, if you if you, if you got the right kind of wood, it ain't gonna be too hard to keep that fire going all night long. Waking up, and if you needed to, you can continue to fire all, you know, for the rest of the day. 
But if the sun start, if the if the day started at sunrise, you could potentially be cold all of that day. What if it's winter time and you didn't keep your fire going all night? Now it's the Sabbath day. The sun is up. You can't start a fire. So now you're going to be cold all day. Or you won't. You're not going to be able to what turn on your the pilot light or something like that. Because remember, the majority of people do not have the wood, and so they're just thinking a flick. And this is probably just another class, whether uh, lighting a stove is fire or not. But you know, most of the people aren't thinking like that. Well, like I said earlier, it is because of the technologies that we have mm -hmm. makes it hard to understand how the day is supposed to work. If it were not for all of these technologies, it will be really, really easy for people to understand. They wouldn't have the flick of a switch to, to turn the heat on. It wouldn't be a matter of going to the wall and changing the temperature. Right. You know, at one, at one point we didn't have that convenience. And according to the scripture, there's going to come a day when we're not going to have that convenience then either. It's going to, we're going to rely on fires. So I can see how, you know, as I was saying about, you know, the day was going to sleep. And that seems to be ending the day. But, you know, what are people saying about the, when the scripture says, and the evening and the morning were the first day? Are people just not getting that or... You know. Well, some of them go to what you what you said a few minutes ago is they're leaving out the night part while you're sleeping. Or well, some of them are changing the definition of the word evening mm -hmm. and saying that the evening started in, you know, at noontime or afternoon. The afternoon is somehow the evening. But we're going to address that part in another class. The only one that I wanted to talk about in this one, the only verses that I wanted to bring out in this one, is in Genesis chapter 1. Right there in verse 2, he says, And the earth was void and without form, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now, this right here, this verse right here alone should give us enough information to know that the day started in the evening time because it's understood that the darkness came first. Right. Darkness comes before light. The earth was dark and then came light. The same way with the day starting in the evening. The day starts in the dark and then halfway through the day we get light. Halfway through that 24 hours we get light. Like you see down there in verse 3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. The darkness came before the light. But then look right here in verse 4. And God saw that, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now, this is where a lot of people get hung up is because they say that the, the light mean evening because he used and God called the light day and the darkness he called night. Are they saying that because he said the light day, they're saying he used evening as light and morning as darkness? Is that what they're saying? Mm hmm. Well, they're saying that the it's like they're saying that the day part, the day only consists of light. Like you were saying earlier, they, they're not counting the night part. They're saying that the day starts with the light. So they're not counting that 12 hours of darkness. Okay. So you're saying that, because I'm kind of confused, you're saying that when it gets dark, you're saying when you go to sleep, when it gets dark, and then you're asleep, and then the next day starts? No, what I'm saying is that the day changes. We go from being day 15 on the calendar 
to day 16 on the calendar once the sun goes down. Once the sun goes down and the sun set, we're in a brand new day. According to scripture. According to the scripture. Because you see right here in verse 15, he says, And the evening and the morning were the first day. And he keeps saying that all the way down through here in verse after verse in chapter 1, that the evening is the beginning and the morning. The evening and the morning. Mm -hmm. The evening starts at sunset. The evening is the beginning at sunset, the beginning of the day at sunset. 12 hours later, approximately 12 hours later, you get the morning, the other half. So you got half the day in the evening time, the other half of the day in the morning time, and that's day one. So when you can't see the sun in the sky anymore, it's the next day? Yeah, right after sunset. That's the next, you're going on to the next day. And it's just like thinking how we treat it now with 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock being the beginning of the day. Saying that the day ends at 11.59 and the next day comes at 12 o'clock. Then that's like said, that would be, if you just moved it, shifted it about 6 hours, that would be saying that a new day started at the evening time. Saying that your day, your work day just ended. So now a new day has started. Yeah. And for a lot of and you know for a lot of us who do laborious work, that'll be the time when we'll take a bath. So we're getting off to a fresh clean start. We've worked in the sun all day long. We're going to wash up, we're going to clean up, we're going to be ready to to start a new day. I think we're going to have to and I think it may help people to understand it more when we think of our um the Father is giving us a giving us rest um, at the beginning of the day, instead of giving it to us at the e end of the day. Well, that's why I wanted to do this introductory video to this argument is because you know, like I'm looking at verse after verse that says that the evening and the morning are the day, not the morning and the evening, but the evening and the morning. I'm having my hard. I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind. I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around how anybody could believe anything different. So I wanted to give people the opportunity to give their comments and their verses and their arguments on why and how they believe that the day starts at any other time besides sunset. And if you believe that it starts at sunset, you know, you can you 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 can help me make this you can help me make our argument by leaving your comments below too. But, you know, so everybody get in. Everybody give your comments. What do you believe? The evening starts today or it starts at, you know, like Journey says, starts at midnight. Or like, you know, Stacy says she used to believe it starts at sunrise. Chris didn't give his opinion on when he started it. You know, he just <laughs> when he thought the day started it, you know. So you said this was going to be a series. What's what's. There, what are we going to look into next? Just reading the comments? Yeah, we're going to go down through. I already have a few comments um, from a few people that have been working with for the fat past few weeks and months. And so I'll go down and we'll go down and we will address each one of those in, in other, um, other videos. In this one, I just wanted to have like a discussion, you know, talking about how the Sabbath day would be so much more challenging if the day starts in the in the morning time or at, at, at midnight or any other time how it's so convenient how the father and his foresight you know how wisdom was was playing a huge role in the father's decision to make the day start in the evening time and just wanted to give some real life examples of how life would be really really different if it were not for that fact any more opinions? Any more ideas before we close it out? Well, one of the things that jumps out to me is, and I can't recall exactly what the scripture says, so I paraphrase it, where he says, um, the Father says that no man worketh while it's night. I don't think we're supposed to be working at night. We're supposed to be resting. So that's going, so what I'm learning um, from this class is I really do think that he's wanting us to begin our day with rest 
we're supposed to begin our day. It only makes sense that when the sun goes down, now it's time to rest. So Reju a rejuvenation period. Yeah, rejuvenate ourselves before we get out and do the work because it's exhausting. You know, I know that. You guys know that. When you work all day and you come home to rest, um, but when you start your day with a new, new energy, new, 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 uh, refresh, new, when you refresh, then you can go out and 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 do the labor. So I'm 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 thinking and I'm learning that that's probably maybe what he means. I don't know. Think Let's about the think think of, think about the uh, the plant cycle. And how that seed has been sitting in the sun all summer long, or even and you know, and sitting in the barn all winter long. But it's when you put that seed in the ground that starts its new life. Mm -hmm. It's when you, when that seed is actually laid to rest, so to speak, and put in the ground that is actually going to start its new life cycle. Mm -hmm. And you think about our reincarnation cycle too. You know, before we get to come back down here and be reincarnated, we're in a state of rest too, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we 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 are, you know, in the spirit world for a while, rejuvenating ourselves. Kind of, you know, a lot of people consider those people to be asleep, and then, you know, it is after we serve that time period, then we're we're we're. we're we're so to say woke back up yeah and started a new life again. Yeah. yeah so it so yeah I believe you're right that you know it, it, our day starts in the rest period our day begins with rest well we'd like to hear that hear you guys comment what you think do you think that's the craziest thing you've ever heard or you know or do you know it to be a fact <laughs> and you want to back up the argument? Because I believe there's, I believe most people know that it starts in the evening time. I, I believe there's only a few very opinionated, outspoken people that believe something different. And, you know, we appreciate their comments down below. Mm -hmm. Look forward to the comments and hearing what everybody else has to say. Shalom. 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 Shalom.